everyone! As you may or may not know, I am an art student, and one of the many joys <laughs> of being an art student is that you have a lot of art laying around. For me, I have a lot of it at my parents' house, which is where I am right now for the holidays. So, I decided to pull out my giant Drawing One portfolio, which, if you don't know, at most art colleges, all students, no matter what major, are required to take foundations courses, including Drawing One, which is essentially just like, here are some still lives, draw them with charcoal. At least at my school, that's how it works. I have not looked at this portfolio since the summer after my freshman year. I am now a second semester junior. I know this art is bad. I am not a good drawer. <laughs> I had a terrible time in this class. I look forward to seeing some poorly drawn still lives. There is also some work from my photo one course, which I took the same semester. There also could be some other joys in here. I literally have not looked at it in a year and a half. So here's the big boy himself. Um, for reference, this is a full-size bed. Alrighty. Nah. Okay. As I kind of expected, the first things up on the top are some photographs. So that's exciting. I do like these. I don't like this. This is from my first semester freshman year. We had to uh, make self-portraits without our face in them. There's my uh, shoes, I guess. That's what I was going for there. These prints are from my final project for Photo 1, which is like the introductory photo course. Essentially, I was like trying to portray feelings of nostalgia and like being in limbo through um, weird self-portraiture. <laughs> This is just a piece of paper. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I'll be honest, I have no idea why. This is a watercolored piece of paper that I was going to use as a backdrop if I did a different photo project, but I didn't. So, yeah, that's nice. This, I love this bad boy. I would love to hang this up someday. This is a 24 by 36 print of one of my images from that nostalgia series and I'm sure it's hard to see here but like you can see the outline of me in the like window reflection it's really cool and it's like really wild as a big print <laughs> another piece of paper again lovely work oh my gosh my drawing final it's so bad! It, we could do like anything we wanted with any of the mediums that we'd used. So I did these really bad ink drawings. Oh no! Okay, so I brought down my exposure so you could see these uh, works of art a little bit better. Um, I don't even remember... I think there was a theme for each one. I did a rendition of me on a skateboard with crutches. I think this video is still up on my channel somewhere. I did fantasy. Oh, I bet it was like storytelling. Fantasy. God, this is awful. I did these the night before. <laughs> and then this bad boy. Oh, I love social commentary. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. I hate it. Oh, and the streaks from my ink pen are really bad. <laughs> That was the best hand I've ever drawn, though. Oh, I, uh, I don't know why this exists, but it's my legs. I'm playing ukulele. It's on top of Dodie's book, and I'm watching Dodie. Wow. Really great work here, guys. <laughs> it's so bad. What's this? Oh, this thing's kind of cool. We had to like digitally manipulate a portrait and then draw the digitally manipulated version by like making squares on our paper. But it's kind of cool. I really like what happened with like her shirt and her like bandana. All right, what's this? Oh, we had to like combine spaces 
So it's like the library is outside the window, but it's my apartment. But there's an exterior sign that says, please watch your step with snow. And there's a rail. I don't know. We also got like weird prompts, to be fair. Little ink drawings. Um, we learned this like fake script. And then we had to make drawings of objects. Okay, now we have some of the big boys. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Wow. <laughs> yep, I drew some skulls. I put all of my time into these skulls and no time into anything else. <laughs> you can kind of see my efforts. I don't know. Maybe not. Some effort, great. Oh, a figure drawing. Wow, look at that. I really can't draw people. We had to do a self-portrait, but make ourselves look weird, essentially. Um, so I made myself look more masculine. But guess what? I already look pretty masculine. And I can't draw. Another big boy here. Ah, planar analysis. Some more skulls that I spent way too much time on. Um, specifically, honestly, this one isn't that great. This guy, though, he's a pretty good skull. I like him. That bucket was the death of me. Looks like we have some little homework assignments. Um, we had to draw something from Google Maps. So I drew uh, this little cute little town in France. Nice. Great work. We had to draw a scene from school. That's fine, I guess. It looks like very architectural. Like, I didn't, I didn't enjoy shading, so I just didn't. Another planar analysis of my sink. This one, exceptionally bad. That one was an early one. To be fair, I did learn. One of the best drawings I made all year, and it was one of our first homework assignments to just draw some objects. I think it helped. I, I made a cute little still life. Mmm, this was our first still life. Yes, I did really bad. I got really stressed. It was an awful experience. We just had to like draw for five hours straight. It was gross. Oh, everybody's falling down. And then um, our first homework assignment. I drew our giant microwave toaster oven. Look at that. See, not bad. Kind of cute. And then I made a bunch of garbage work. <laughs> In the beginning, I like wasn't stressed out. I was like, I'm just gonna make my homework, whatever. And then we started drawing and then everything fell apart slowly. <laughs> I think that's everybody. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm excited to make some fun content while I'm at my grandma's this weekend. And I will see you tomorrow.